This is Aaron with ANET Computers from ANETcomputers.com with another potential fix for a possible problem you are receiving with your Windows computer. Microsoft based operating system computer. So this one, well, not necessarily I guess. I guess you could be using on this one possibly Mac or Linux, but generally most of my videos so far have been dealing with Windows based computers. But anyways, Hotmail contacts. Quick how to add contacts to your account. And today I will show you how to quickly find and add contacts to your Microsoft Hotmail account. The menu item for contacts may be confusing or difficult to find as Microsoft likes to change their Hotmail web interface. As a matter of fact, when I logged into my Hotmail account, guess what? They changed their interface once again. This was filed under email client and this date was pretty old, February 1, 2010. But after this tutorial or video, I'm going to update these procedures. And then there's no doubt in my mind that a year from now, six months from now, Microsoft could easily change their graphical unit interface. When, or their back end of their Hotmail web base mail. And then these instructions might not necessarily be legit, but continuing on. Once logged into your Windows Live Hotmail account, you will see, quote, contact list under related places, which is at a lower left part of that page towards the very bottom. Click on contact list and that will take you to your contact list where you can add, remove, import, export, etc. contacts. Well, let's go out to Hotmail. I've already signed into my Hotmail account. As you can see, I have two email messages, but they're just not that important. They want me to reconnect my Hotmail account to my Facebook page. Well, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyways, but thank you for the reminder. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty generic. And when you scroll down, it says I have two messages. It has a links to terms, privacy and cookies, developers, English. That's about it, at least on my, when I logged in today. Well, they have a new drop down. So those instructions no longer apply, which I, I will update them. And I will make sure I put a note that this was an update on July 8th, 2014. Just some kind of little disclaimer saying that, well, they might not necessarily work, but as of July 8th, 2014, these will help you. So all you do is click the drop down. You can write a new message. You click the plus, but right next to it, to the right of Outlook.com, and then to the left of the plus sign for an composing a new message or writing a new message is a drop down. You click on that and then there's another drop down menu and then people. You can go to a calendar. They have OneDrive, which is cloud. They have w Word online now. I guess they have a free, I haven't used it. Excel online, PowerPoint online, OneNote online. I haven't used those services. Then you click on people and it opens up another web-based page, and it's opening up. Now it takes you to your, this is, I think this replaced their contacts. They call it people now, which is your old contacts. As you can see, I have quite a few. They are basically, basically a lot of those are imported from my Facebook account because I, what I did was, I connected my Facebook with my Hotmail account. You can cross connect them. So, and then it, it automatically imported all of my Facebook contacts that were also on Hotmail and then on the left hand side, as you can see. So anyways, just to kind of describe what this might be new for you or it might not. Now this is where and then as you can see, now you can connect your Skype account. So if you have a Skype account, you can cross connect it. And then it might have an automatic import feature. I haven't tried it yet. You might sign in and then it's connected now. And then it will show all your Skype contacts. And then you can easily 
that that are probably also on Hotmail. And then, you know, it might just give give you an easy interface to message them or send them a video request or a voice call request, whatever, a Skype call request. And then as you can see, you can also connect your accounts to Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, Yahoo, and then import contacts. This is very important. A lot of people, see, every time Microsoft changes their interface, it confuses people. And they've been changing their interface for years and years and years, ever since they acquired Hotmail many years ago. So, and then it even warns me, we can't get updates from Facebook. You may be able to fix this by reconnecting. I just have to reconnect it. I'm thinking I changed my Facebook email, excuse me, my Facebook password. That's probably what, because then in order for the accounts to cross connect, they use that Facebook password. If you change it, then Hotmail forgets it and it can't connect. That's probably what it is, but I'm obviously I'm not going to go over that. That's a different video. But I just wanted to show you the new, as of July 8th, 2014, Microsoft web-based mail interface. So then you can do an import. You click on the start import, and then it even asks you, where do you want to import from? Outlook, Google, Yahoo, Outlook 2010 and 2013, Windows Live Mail, or other. And then if you click other, then this is could, could be very very convenient for you. All you need is a CSV file, so you could get your CSV file from Outlook or whatever whatever email program you use. I would probably even say Thunderbird. As long as Thunderbird can export a CSV file, you just save it to your computer, and then you browse for it. So I'm not going to show you that, but you just click on browse. And then you browse to where that CSV file is located on your hard drive, etc. But let's go back. So let's go back to people. So that's a quick, easy way to import your contacts, and that can save you a lot of time. And then as you can see, you can import from different social networking websites now. But let's say you want to, you have a new friend that you met, whether it's virtual or in person, you met somebody at a bar or hotel or at a birthday party, wherever, and you just, so all you have to do is click new, and then it's got a field for name, first name, last name, company, you can add an additional field, email, you can add an additional email, phone, mobile, address, you can put their address, other, so that's pretty quick and easy, and then you just click Save. So let's go back to People. They also have Manage. So if you're confused on where to go, this is where to go now, as of 2014, July of 2014. Click on Manage, and then you can clean up your contacts. You can restore deleted contacts. My interpretation of that is they have a trash can. They might have a trash can. You might delete a contact or a group of contacts, but they do not get removed permanently until you empty that trash can. So as long as you haven't permanently removed those contacts, it looks like you can restore them. And then also you can, under Manage, you can export for Outlook.com and other services, and then export for Outlook 2010 and Outlook 2013. We can try, let's see, we can click on one of these and... Oh, it automatically opens it up for you. So all that did, let's go back, manage. Oh, export. Duh, hello, the word export. So you can quickly export your email contacts for Outlook.com and other services. So if we click on that, it say it opens that window, and then it saves file, and then it's a CSV file. And that's a very standard file format. A lot of Thunderbird, other email programs, a lot of those will allow you to import and export just a standard CSV file. And then we can go back one more time, and then you can export to contacts to Outlook 2010 and Outlook 2013. It doesn't look like they, nothing before then. So Office XP 2003, your 
it looks like you might be out of luck. But what you could do is if you're still running Outlook 2003 or they a lot of times people refer to it as Outlook XP, which is around 2003 or Outlook 2007, what you could do is you could go into Outlook and then you could export all of your contacts to a CSV file. You can name it whatever you want, but as long as it's a .csv file, then, then you can go into here and then import it. And I'll go over that again. So, but we'll quickly go over this. This is how to export contacts to Outlook 2010 and Outlook 2013. Number one, add your Outlook.com account to Outlook. See, add account instructions for Outlook 2010 or Outlook 2013. Number two, once the account is added, click on people in Outlook 2013 or contacts in Outlook 2010. Number three, under my, my contacts, click the account name for the accounts you want to export. Number four, select the contacts you want to export. Number five, click move, then click copy to a folder. Number six, under your Outlook account name, click Contacts, then click OK. Number seven, disconnect your Outlook.com account from Outlook, optional. You can leave it there, but you can also remove it. So these are just instructions on how to export contacts from Outlook, your Hotmail Outlook.com account to Outlook 2010 and Outlook 2013. But then if we go back to people, it's going to open another people. I guess I could have just clicked back on that previous tab. But anyways, what you can do is you can export. So it's got, it's got an easy, quick export for 2010 and, to, and 2013, but then you are required to, I just went over those instructions. But other services, let's say you're using Outlook, 2007 or Outlook XP or Outlook 2003, you click on this third from top and then it automatically saves it as a CSV file. Then you can go into Outlook 2003 or Outlook XP or Outlook 2007 and then import that file. It shouldn't be that difficult. So that's a pretty convenient feature. So that's it. So hopefully you are now able to get to your contacts. You might be wondering, well, I signed in to Hotmail, but I have no idea where to go. They, Microsoft changed their interface again. Because look at the standard interface. It doesn't really, it doesn't have a menu that says contacts. But then I figured it out pretty quickly because that's a an arrow, so I clicked on it, and then bam, and then I went to people. Anyways, so hopefully that will fix a possible problem that you're having where you're just not sure where to go to add contacts to your Outlook.com account or your MSN account or your Hotmail account. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for more potential fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.